Okay, so in this video, we're going to be going over how you can send uh, SMS messages, so text messages, to mobile phones in PHP. So for this, we're going to be relying on a SMS server hosted by a company called MessageBird. As you can see here, this is my dashboard, so you're going to have to go along and make an account. Uh, it's very easy, it takes like 30 seconds, and it is free. You get um, 10 or 15 SMS credits, you can see here I've got one remaining, uh, and this is for free. And then after that, you pay like £15 for like 500 text messages, and you can obviously set it to automatically top up so that you never run out. And you can use this for things like if you need to collect a user's um, mobile phone number, you can send an SMS to the mobile phone and obviously use that for ver verification, or you can use it to send out reminders. The first thing you need to do is, uh, I've visited the GitHub repository for MessageBird, the, the PHP REST API version, and if you don't already have Composer installed, you should just click the link here and download Composer. It's just a thing that runs on the command line and lets you run commands like this. And what this is gonna do is, if you copy and paste this into your command line, it is going to um, download the MessageBird REST API onto your computer. All it's gonna do is make a file called Vendor and inside it's gonna put all the files you need to send SMS messages. And then all we have to do then is write a little tiny bit of code on top of it so it knows what it needs to do. So if I'm gonna go into my command line now, I've made a directory already just in my htdocs local host called SMS. So if I navigate to that like this, and then I can run the command that I've just copied, the composer require message bear REST API, and I'll run that. Okay, so that's done now, as you can see. Uh, generating autoload files is done. And you can see here, it's created these two files, which is uh, that I can just delete for now, for this example. And inside this folder, there is a couple of different files, folders that you don't need to worry about. And then there's autoload.php, which is the thing that we're gonna work with. So if I open up my uh, root directory, you can see here, SMS and vendor. I'm gonna make a new file and then save it just as index.php. This is my home page. This is the page that I'm gonna to use to process the sending of a text message. So I'm gonna type PHP, open some PHP tags. And then the first thing that we need to do is require this file that we talked about, so the autoload.php file. Uh, and it's required because the, the rest of the code requires it to run. Uh, so now the rest of our code can run successfully. So the next thing we need to do is define a variable called message bed. And it's gonna be a new instance of new instance of the slash message bed slash client and then in here we're going to put in our uh, api key that message bed gives us so you can see that mine's here like this i can show mine and i'll probably hide it for the video and then i'll hide it again copy and paste it into our into these brackets here this is my private key so that it knows basically who is sending the test text message so i can track that on the dashboard and then underneath this, I'm gonna make a new variable called message and set that equal to new slash message birds slash objects slash message. And then I'll close that there. And then now what I need to do is inside, I'm gonna append this message variable. I'm gonna say, uh, basically you need to define an originator. So an originator, is basically telling the text message who who is sending it so you can type in a string here i think 11 characters is the maximum it can be so you know when you get a text message from google for example it'll, it won't just say like the phone number it will say google sent the message this is what this is so whatever you type in between these uh, quotes will be the name that appears on the user's phone so that'll be the name of your business or just something that they recognize that it's you who sent the text message for this i can just type in you know youtube test and I, like I say it has to be 11 characters uh, maximum so that's 12 characters so I can just do YouTube test no spaces like this and that's 11 characters so that'll work and the next thing I need to do is to find the recipient so who is going to receive the text message and this is going to be an array because you can send it to multiple people at once if you want to uh, but for, for this example I'm only going to send it to me um, with test credits, you can only send it to your actual reg registered phone number, the, the number that you signed up to message bird with. But obviously once you buy credits, you'll be able to send text messages to whoever you want. So I'm gonna type in my number here. Yeah, and close that off. And then message hi, body is basically a string of um, what do you want the text message to say? So this might be your verification code is 12345, or it might be just a reminder you have an appointment tomorrow. This is the content of the text message, and this is the body. So you can type whatever you want. I'm just gonna type, hello, Mark. This is a quick test 
for a YouTube video. And I think obviously once it gets to a certain length, if it if you continue, so for example, if I forget what the maximum length is, it's allowed to be. But if for example, if it's a hundred characters, if you send a text that is two hundred characters, it will split it up into two texts. But that's basically the end. So now that it knows what it needs to do, all we need to do is run it. So I'm gonna print R. So this means print to the screen, and then uh, I'm gonna JSON encode it as well. So you I'm gonna worry about this. This is just so I can show you guys what 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 we're doing. Uh, I'm gonna do message bird messages create and then use the message template that we've defined up there so for your if the case that you're do, using it for you would not need to put all of this stuff outside that you could literally just write it like this um, but i'm trying to show you guys what is displayed afterwards so i'm going to print and json encode this so that we can see some results on the screen so if this has obviously worked successfully you should hear my mobile phone make a sound in the background so i'm going to run this script okay so exam hdocs vendor slash auto load ah okay i see where the problem is so uh, i need to set this and then do sms because it's going right the way back into my hdocs directory and as you can see uh, sms is the file that it's located in so if i run this now and then it says originator youtube test body hello mark this is a test for a youtube video if you probably just hear my phone in the background i'll put a screenshot of how that looks on the screen now and then you get a lot of information. So you get um, you know, the total count, the total sent count, total delivered. This is helpful if you just sent a text message to 10 people. Uh, you can see how many people received it, how many people failed, and obviously you can handle those errors as well. And then items in, the, in this items array, you can see each individual recipient in the array, and you can see if it's sent successfully, what time and date they received it, all of this stuff. And this information is obviously all very useful. And obviously if it fails, you can try and understand why it failed. Did they maybe give you another number? Do you need to say, oh, this text message didn't send. Are you sure you didn't give us the correct number? Um, all of this you can use to make your user experience a lot more uh, fluent and, and nice to use. So that's basically it. That's how you send a text message in PHP. It's simple as that. Try it out yourself. I'm going to put all the links in the description. You get 10 or 15 free text messages before you have to start paying for it. And if you, you can also, with MessageBird, you can also receive incoming text messages. So make it so that users can respond to your text. If you'd like to see a tutorial on how to do that, leave a comment and I can obviously write up a, a little video for how to do that as well. So thanks a lot for watching this video. And leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe, and I hope to see you back on the channel again for the next one.